in a universe where life does not end at death. We explore the infinite possibilities forged by our very minds. Welcome to our Thedian Anthologies. Before we get started, I just want to inform you that this series was recorded over Discord. If the quality dips, it's due to connection issues. Greetings, fellow travelers and storytellers. Welcome to a Reborn in Power series featuring Dr. Cal and his creation. Proto. Follow along as he learns how to live and survive beyond the confines of the Zelic dynasty. Dr. Cal, you are currently resting, or at least trying to sleep. Thinking about the dream that you had before, you're kind of afraid to fall asleep. (laughs) As you remember... How your brother... He is doing some... Unethical things that isn't very efficient. At least in your eyes. But as you... Try to rest, I would like you to... Roll me a discipline will check. Sense? Anything else? Just a discipline. Okay, well we're going to pull out the table because last time when I didn't use the table, the dice betrayed me. (laughs) Oh, yeah, it was not using the table. Uh, Nine plus four, which gets me 13. Plus my 12. 25? For discipline? Wait, you, you have a 12 in will? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm so used to using intellect. Uh, 23. 23. I need my dice. My dice. Yeah, I understand. The dice are important. The dice... Soothes me. You are able to begin to fall asleep. As you fall asleep, the sound of the... of this bass begins to fade from your mind. And you continue to fade off and drift off. Until finally... You hear the sound of the door open up and you and the sound comes back. You look over and you see Proto walk inside and you see him go and sit down in in a chair and then looks over at you. You feel like you've only been asleep for Well, you actually don't know how long you've been asleep, honestly. How how well rested do I feel? You feel not that well rested. Uh, Doctor Cal just is like, I, I guess I guess I need to get up. 
and he kind of like scoots to the end of the bed because I you, imagine these are for. Oh, uh, are you okay, creator? That was Proto. I thought that was you for a second. Um, uh, he just sort of like scoots to the end of the bed, and he just like kind of waddles his feet off the end because these are like normal humanoid sized beds, right? Yeah. Sorry, prima primoid beds, right? Yeah. So yeah. they're they're a little tall for me. And I, I look over at Proto, I'm like, yeah, yeah Proto, I, I'm fine. Um, yeah, we should be... The pistol function should be near done, right? I think I finished that before heading to bed. When is Operative Micah coming back? That's a good question. Um... Do you know where I set my codex? He's kind of like looking around because he kind of was like half asleep when he was last here. Your codex? Uh, yes. It should be inside the laboratory. I, have, I must have left it in there. Um, and uh, Dr. Cal like gets down kind of slowly so he doesn't just kind of fall off the bed. Okay. Uh, and he starts walking over to the laboratory. All right, the door opens up. You go over to the laboratory, and then it opens up again, and you begin to check for your codex. Go ahead and roll me a perception check. Perception. That's based off of will. Yes, it is. Oh, oops, 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 oops. Perception. That is a six plus one. So seven, seventeen. Looking around, you go over to where you remember setting it last. It's not there. Brodo, did you mess with my codex? I told you that it is inside the laboratory, and you see he comes back. <clears throat> Why are you trying to blame me for something I did not do? I am not trying to blame you. I'm just curious if you touched the codex. I don't touch your things unless you specify that you need me to touch your things. Okay, Proto, good to know. Ah, where did I set the codex? Um, I can work on that later. Uh, and I kind of just go over to where the gun function is. Okay. And I just am double-checking my work. I was in, let's just call it a frenzy, finishing that thing up. Okay, go ahead and roll me a discipline will check again. Discipline will check. Oh, crap. Uh, two. <laughs> what? <laughs> Four. That's six. Uh, that that would be a 16. All right. Uh, you, it, you're, you still feel tired. Very tired. You need to go to sleep. And your checking your work it it just takes a lot out of you and you feel like you feel like you, there's still something missing for it it's still something that that needs to be done for it but the more you think about it the more a headache comes on the more you just want to go and rest uh, yes uh. Uh, I go over to where, like, the nutritions are. Okay. And I, I go grab one of those. You go and grab one of them? Yep. How many more are left in that little bridge? Uh, well, I know you were talking about it being kind of low last time. La- okay, last time you, you checked, there were about eight more nutritions left. When you look, when you go inside now and you and you check, there are now three left. Uh, I just grab a nutrition and I just trying to. St- I imagine these are like a paste. What are these? Yeah, they're they're like a like a bar kind of thing where you, you can take okay. it and you and you bite into it. And I, I start just like eating that nutrition, and I'm like, huh. I guess I, I guess I'll take. I guess I'll go back to sleep for now. You see, Proto um, go, go over and takes takes another nutrition and I'd like you to roll me another perception check 
Another perception check. Is Frodo, is Frodo eating all the nutrients? <laughs> He's a growing boy. <laughs> oh, 12. <laughs> you look over and you look over no, towards... No, that's not even everything. Matt, well, you not, want me to add all the modifiers? You, you're fine. You, you, you see this. You look over at the nutrition that he just grabbed and then you look over towards the trash and you see all of the different packages for for the nutritions inside the trash and you see proto goes to open up this other nutrition oh what are you gonna do this is the second to last nutrition proto how many nutritions have you been eating um i require for myself, approximately three of these per day. I that that, that cannot be right. Uh, <laughs> I look at I look at Proto. Is he looking kind of fat or something? Because like these are daily nutrition, no, aren't they? No, he doesn't look fat. He looks completely fit. And yes, I they guess... are daily nutritions. One 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 nutrition satisfies your hunger for an entire day. Well, I guess something about how we have to design you makes you a little less efficient than normal. Huh. Should I explain the increased strength? Should I stop eating? Mm. If you can tone it down to one nutrition, that would be helpful. But I don't know if that's possible for you. I will... Um. I will attempt to tone it down, as you say. And he puts the nutrition back. I'm not trying to be rude, Proto, but that is a lot of food. Even for primes, these are supposed to be only once per day. But you said I am a sin. Yes, but you are also... I am in a prime body, yes. Yes, so it's a little weird. Biologically speaking, you need food to survive, but that is a lot of food. Really? It doesn't feel like it. I get hungry really fast. Curious. I'll I'll have to do some research on the proto. Maybe something is messed up in the programming, or maybe your body requires more food than I thought. So, how are we going to contact Operative Micah if you do not have your codex? Oh, what? right. <laughs> <laughs> My codex. I completely forgot, Frodo. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me back on track. And I, I kind of look around the lab again. It wasn't in here. I know oh, that. It's not in here, no. Uh, I start heading to, like, the little, like, sleep area. Okay. You. And I double check in there. Head out. And you go to check inside the sleep area. As you check inside here, go ahead and roll me a perception check. Got to be around here somewhere, right? Ten plus. That's already a twenty plus one. Twenty-one. Uh, as you look around, you find your codex on the ground underneath the bed that you were sleeping in. I must have put it there. Uh, and I, I kind of grab it. You go, and as you go to grab onto it, I'd like you to roll me an endurance check. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh. That'll be an eight plus endurance. I don't know if I have anything in endurance. I don't. Eight plus five. That equals a 13. Thirteen. Yep. What's your stamina at? Uh, my stamina is at seventeen. I hear dice. Oh no! You suddenly, as you go to grab onto it, you get a huge shock to your system. You hear, and 
your entire body begins to overload, I need you to roll me a discipline. We'll check. Hey, I'm uh, okay at those. As you take 21 points to your stamina. Oh. Oh, 21, you yeah. say? Yeah. Oh, I'm at negative stamina. That's great. You're at zero, so uh, that means that you're exhausted. Oh, this is this is awesome. Uh, so that's a <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, that's a fifteen plus ten twenty uh, twenty-five. You are able to uh, stay awake from this shock to your system. Suddenly, you begin to hear. <laughs> strange technological noises in your head and your codex when you grabbed onto it it kind of flipped over and you see it's blank white it has a blank white screen on it and it has this these strange the strange coding going down through it it's like a like black coding going straight through it ah you're one of the architects, aren't you? And then it stops. And then it goes I know back. you hear me. I know you can probably hear through him. And I like point back to wherever Codex, wherever Codex, wherever Proto is, because <laughs> I remember them talking about hearing through Sin a little bit, becoming eyes and ears for him. Nothing. No, I didn't. No, no response. I've probably been talking with Proto. That makes sense. Uh, and I, I kind of just crawl into bed. Proto is still in the laboratory, isn't he? Yes, he is. <sighs> well, that's just one more problem to deal with. Did, wait, did, you, did you leave your codex on the ground? Well, it shocked me last yeah, did, time it, I touched it, it. It did shock you, and you are now exhausted. <laughs> I try to get my codex and like. Okay, you're able to. You're able to grab it and pick it up and put it and, and put it next to you as you lie down. I, I I just kind of put like a hand on it to make sure I don't lose it this time. Okay. Uh, and I, I I try going back to sleep, finally getting some some rest. I didn't want to get shocked by my codex today, but I guess that's what we're doing. All right, go ahead and roll me another discipline will check. You're going to be rolling a lot of discipline will checks today. Oh, yay. They're back. Oh, it was nearly a 12. Um, seven. That's a seven plus... That's an 11 plus 10, 21. Twenty-one. You're able you to begin to drift off, go and fall asleep. Oh no! Not the architects. I don't want to deal with them. Can I put my stamina back up? No, not, I'm not, not yet. Not yet. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Good to know. As you're asleep, you begin to hear faint footsteps coming towards you. You turn around, and as you look over, you see your father. Dad? Did we give his father a name? No, I don't believe you did. Uh, do- Dr. Cal, his <laughs> father. <laughs> Dr. Doctor- <laughs> what? <laughs> What? He's just, you, were, you, you were named after him? 
I don't know, Matt. Do you have any other ideas? I mean, you don't need to have. I mean, he doesn't need to have a name right now. You could just call. Oh, him Oh, okay. We'll we'll give him a name later. <laughs> Dad, you you're dead. <laughs> I am not dead, Cal. I am with you. What? All father things again. <laughs> See around here. And I kind of like look around. Do you truly think that the All Father would want something like Montezelic? Someone like Montezelic? What are you. What? What are you talking about, that? You and your brother. Yes? You too. We're so rebellious. Yes. Why did you not listen to me? Uh, propaganda? That's no excuse. Mostly propaganda. That is no excuse. But that you weren't raised in, like, the propaganda and all the peer pressure. What are you talking about? I was trying to raise you outside of the propaganda, but you wouldn't listen to me. Yes. Called being a kid, I think. I don't know. I'm I'm sorry, Dad. You mad at me because I didn't show up to your funeral? I am not mad. I am disappointed. Oh. He kind of like wipes off his brow, like, oh, thank God, he's just disappointed. (laughs) (laughs) But I hope that you are. Pursuing a path of greater importance now. I think I am. I have to deal with one of my creations gaining sentience. I don't care about your creations. I care about our people and how they affect the society as a whole. Oh, okay. So you're, I'm guessing you were the all father then. Am I with the yeah. All Father? Yes, of course I'm with the All Father. And why haven't you shown up like when I talked with All Father before? Because maybe you weren't ready to see me. Oh. I mean, that could be true. Hey, Dad, do you have any idea why I keep seeing uh, the brother in, like, nightly visions? Is that normal? We Nugonians, when we are are connected to our family, we are connected to our family. All right? Oh, that explains the... Okay, cool. That that explains it. Uh, Were you here to tell me something? Yes. I wanted to come here so that I can tell you that you need to stop your brother. Yeah. Made sense. But your brother is a lot more powerful than you and a lot smarter than you. That also makes sense, yeah. He also has more resources, people working for him. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. He like shot magic at like a Space do you know, station. Like do you remember Doctor Venton? I remember Doctor Venton. Yes, he was a close friend of mine. He was, indeed. Oh, curious. In fact, he and I worked <laughs> to gather an uprising against the Zealot Dynasty. I mean, that makes sense. And we connected with Core Command. It is why you Wait. are where you are. Yes, okay. You need 
to stop your brother. And yes, he has more resources. I'm, I'm trying to work on it. I gotta figure you out have, how to deal with the green energy first. You'll have to work with court command in some regard. Or perhaps find or perhaps find powerful <laughs> allies who might be able to help you take down your brother. Okay. But I can do. Can you? I remember you always didn't like working with other people. Well, I don't. But there's not a lot you can do when you keep getting, like, nightly horrors. Am I a nightly horror to you? No, but you're not a bunch of people dying. Well, that's because your brother is not following the old father. Yeah, he's being an asshole. So. Follow the All Father. Okay. Everything shall work out in the end. Okay. Got it. Good. And you suddenly hear the door open again. And you see walking inside the room you feel well rested your stamina is back to full hey and you see Proto is inside the room and he looks over at you Uh, uh, hello Proto Uh, yeah Uh, I I reach for my codex (laughs) Is it still with me? Uh, it is not there. Uh, Proto, have you seen where I put my codex? I thought you lost it. No, I found it. uh, Then it shot me. Mm. Hey, Proto, did, did you see the white screen on the codex? No. I haven't seen your codex since yesterday. Then what did I touch? (laughs) Huh. Brought it to bed with me, didn't I? Like, I I look around this room. Like, I get off the bed and I look around the room. Roll me another perception check. Three, one. <laughs> <The> dogs. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, dog. Give me one second. I gotta figure. No. They stop. Fourteen. Looking around the room, you're looking everywhere that you could. That you can check, and the codex is not there. Back in the lab? You go to the lab? Yeah. There's only like two places that Dr. Cal has been. The door opens up. You go over to the lab. And as you are inside the laboratory, you check around and you cannot find the codex anywhere. Huh. Huh. Ugh. It's not. Perhaps it is inside of the other room. I actually checked there. Uh, no, I mean the check- other room. What other room? The main? The main area? The, the chamber that we have not gone inside. That we are not allowed inside. Why would it be in there? I don't know. No one came in while you were asleep. I was inside here the entire time. Um. 
We need that codex. You're not able to interface with codex IDs, are you? I can't remember. I could try. Can you see if you can feel the codex anywhere around? Negative. Can't feel it? I cannot feel the codex. Actually, I cannot feel any codex. Odd. There was a codex right there, remember? When Operative Micah came in and checked the systems in the manifest. Wait, wait, where's that codex? You look over and it's not there. I grab the... (laughs) I grabbed the tech revolver. Like, okay. I think someone might be messing with this proto, and I just kind of hold it in my hand. <laughs> I get a few rounds for it. I other. have not seen anyone messing with us. How do you know that someone is messing with us? I'm not sure, proto, but why? No one has been in or out, so why is that codex gone? I do not understand. Let's check that other room. Maybe there's something in there. Affirmative. Doesn't doesn't hurt. Uh, uh, Dr. Cal starts, like, walking to that uh, other room. All right, you walk over to the other room, the door slides open and then you go over to the door uh the door does not open as you walk up to it and you see a panel uh on the side of it and proto stands there the door is locked yes i know proto um you can interface with this can you i know you interfaced with some consoles before Yes, I can try. Don't push yourself too hard. I just am curious. He presses on to uh, presses on to the panel, and then the panel, <laughs> and then the it kind of goes. <laughs> the security systems are quite advanced. I'm not going to be able to hack it, probably. I don't have a hacking codex right now. Um. Huh. Cause these are these are pretty heavy doors, aren't they? Yes, they are. There's not a lot of good ways to open up the door to them. Um. I can I, try I, to. Oh. I can try to pry it open if you would like me to. We don't want to damage their door. We're not even supposed to be in there. At this point, there is no way to communicate to Operative Micah except for damaging things so that they would come for us. Let me try the door one time. (laughs) And Dr. Cal tries the door. Tries to open the door? I'm assuming... Like, oh, no, he tries to open the panel. You know, tries to hack through the panel. Okay, go ahead and we'll make a, p- a computer's check. Or coding. You know what? You know what? <clears throat> you know what? But can I? No, that's only for... Salvaging is only for mechanic checks. Or crafting. So, I can't do that. Um. Yeah, I try using coding. Alright. Five plus a six, which equals a nine. What? That's not right. That equals an eleven. Uh, so twenty-three. You uh, try to code your way through this door and try to find a way to open it up. You're able to open it up, it, but it it only opens just a crack 
and you can't get through it. But you can look through it. Hey, hey, Matt, Matt. What? Dumb question. Mm -hmm. Is it big enough that I can slide the barrel of my function gun underneath? (laughs) And use the scope and barrel on it to kind of look around? It it is. So the, the door opens up like so like a like a sliding door so it's uh but there there are two sides to, to it so it would it'll open up uh two two way like basically from left to right okay so there's a crack in the middle of of the door and it's probably about two inches wide oh i wouldn't be able to move the gun once it's inside there Mm-mm. um so I, I yeah i try looking through Seeing if there's anything. Go ahead and roll me a perception check. Perception check. That's a six. Plus a one. Plus a eleven. Sorry. That is a seventeen. As you look inside this chamber, you see what looks to be a... It looks like a control room of some kind. There is a large mission, like like a mission control room. There is a large console in the center that looks like a hollow holographic imaging console. There is also banners inside the room, and there is a another door uh, at the far corner. Well, I don't see our turrets, but I do see another door. Would you like to me to try to pry it open now that there is a opening for my fingers to get through? I'm going to feel bad about this, but yes. Stand back. I will. <laughs> and Dr. Cal takes a few good steps back. He knows how strong Proto can be. He steps forward, gets in position, puts his fingers through the, the crack, and begins to pull it apart about three feet apart, and then squeezes his body God. through. Am I going to be able to fit my big head through there? Uh, it's going to take some finagling, but you're able to. Okay, uh, Dr. Cal, like, <laughs> finagles his way <laughs> through this hole in the door <laughs> with his big head. <laughs> the body's not the issue. It's it's all in the head. Uh, but yeah, I, I try getting myself through there. You have got yourself through it now. Uh, please roll me a perception check. Hope they're not too mad at us for this. <laughs> That's a three. Plus... Fourteen. Fourteen? Fourteen. Alright, I need to roll a few more dice. Give me a sec. What is... Mr. Protos. Did I send you Protos? Uh, you sent me like. Stat block? You sent me a stat block. Was that through our uh, private message? That was through our chat. That was like through. No, that wasn't through private message. It was from uh, the Dr. Cal like okay. scheduled links. Okay, let me go check that real quick. There it is, yeah. Where is the Dr. Oh, okay. He has a perception, doesn't he? <clears throat> oh, it'd be Will. Oh, he has good will. I didn't realize how good his will was. Uh, he... you As you're looking around this chamber, you suddenly hear a slight thump, like a 
a, a, like a thump against the desk in front of you. You don't see anything, but you hear something. And then you see, you hear Proto say, You might be right, creator. We aren't alone. I, uh, I get the gun up. <laughs> <laughs> you get the gun up? <clears throat> I, I, like, mess with it and make sure the gun barrel is straight for right now. <laughs> uh, as you get the uh, gun up, and- you hear Proto, like, well, you see Pro- Proto looking around and pushes you aside. He has the shock bracers on, but... And then he, he says... Doesn't- we know you are here. Why don't you show yourself? No response. What did you see, Proto? See anything? Or just hear it? There is someone who is using a stealth field. It will time out in time. Unless they have multiple. If so, then they were planning on... Messing with us for a while. Perhaps they are not messing with us, but messing with core command. That is possible. Um, we are not from core command if that is your issue. They just are here for a bit as we gather, well, some money under our belt. And no. Dr. Cal just says that out loud. I imagine it doesn't do anything, now. No, it does not do anything. Proto looks over at you and is like, what do you want to do, creator? Would you like me well, to hunt them down and exterminate them? Try to non-lethally get them, but uh, worst comes to worst. You know how to non-lethally hold someone, right? I can try. <laughs> he steps forward. That's, that's all I ask, Proto. <laughs> that should scare whoever is in here. Ah. <sighs> uh. I need to see some. I, I, I need to roll a few things real quick. I need you to roll me another perception check, please. Perception check. That is a nine plus a one plus a ten. That's a twenty. I don't think it's high enough to see through a stealth feature. Though. That's about near my maximum, though. Uh. No, you cannot hear anything. Proto looks around, and then he kind of twists his head really quick. Goes, looks over at a corner. And then you see him rush over towards the corner, and then he goes and tries to grab onto something. Uh, what is this? Creep reflex has a d6. Oh, Proto. Oh, no, are you about to kill something, or is something about to kill you? Uh, Proto goes to try to grab something, but is unable to grab. Does he just run into a wall? Yeah, he kind of just runs into a wall. And he's like, Ugh. I thought I heard it. I believe I heard it. Activate another stealth field. <sighs> How long did those last again? One minute. Ah, so he's... Unless he, he has an upgraded... Bird. Unless he has an upgraded stealth field. Which means it could be up towards of like 15 minutes of us just waiting. Yes. And... Perhaps... I, uh... It is looking I for something into- inside here. Yes, perhaps. Is Whatever it-, it is, it seems to be pretty okay at its job. <laughs> Easy. Proto looks around to try to see if there's any, like, cameras inside here. 
There are five cameras inside here. They are all deactivated. Oh, he deactivated the security. Uh, Dr. Cal makes his way to, like, the door. Just making sure... Which door? That it can't... Uh, the open one. You know, the one that we forced open? Yeah. I, I just tried making my way over there in case he tries escaping through there. Okay. You go uh, up to that door and you you stand there at the ready. You see Proto continuing to walk around listening for any more activations of the stealth field. Might be a minute. <laughs> We are oh. not going to let you leave if you think you can leave. Yeah. Why well, we're stuck here, Prado? What's, what's, what's going on? How's your day been? <laughs> Pretty good. I, well, actually not very good, to be honest. Oh, what's, what's going on, buddy? I sort of couldn't hold myself back from eating the other nutrition. It's it's fine, Proto. Not really if we can't get out of here. Well, worst comes to worst, we blow up a door. That sounds like fun. Yes, but let's hope we don't have to do it. Want me another perception check? <laughs> Might as well do some... <laughs> Some role play while we're stuck here. That's a six. Seventeen. I don't even think that can see through a stealth field. I think a stealth field's natural thing is like plus. I don't know, it's a good plus. You do not hear anything. Proto continues to look around. They should have run out by now. Which means they might have an upgraded stealth field. That's not good. Do you remember how long those can last? Upgraded stealth fields? They can last between 5 to 10 minutes. Oh... Worst comes to worst, they have about five of those. Ugh. We could be in here for an hour. We could be in here for an hour, but the good thing is that we know how to wait. Yes. The question so, is, what is this thing waiting for? It's waiting for something. It doesn't appear to be on any, like, messing with any of the panels, right? He looks like over... He looks over towards the door that hasn't been opened yet. And he goes over towards it. Perhaps it is waiting for this door to be opened. Um, I guess stand in front of it then. I will stand that in front of it. That way he can't escape there. The only way he'll get past me is if he somehow is able to climb walls. Somehow. Uh, I mean, not unheard of. So, Prado, you eat three of those nutritions. Please roll me another... Perception check. Oh, another perception. We're not getting into Proto's digestive system right now. Oh, it's even worse than before. Sixteen. So mm -hmm. You don't hear anything. Proto looks around. It's like it might be able to climb. That isn't good. Means it means it could already be out of here. Yes, indeed. Perhaps we should stop and then see if our actions moving forward 
prompt another action from it. Uh, worst comes to worst, it kills us. Worst and comes I kiss kind of back. For right now, it seems like we are free. Or perhaps it is gathering intel about us. Well, I mean... Maybe it is the that. maybe it is the creature that took your codex. You have Curious. do you still have important information on your codex? Well, not any really, besides the weapons. The blueprints. Well not your blueprints, but I have these blueprints. But- those are mostly up here. And I just had a point to my head. <laughs> All right. So, it, they're not that useful. They're not like game changing or anything. Just little benefits. Uh, what about that door, Proto? Is there like a panel near it? Yes, there is. <clears throat> you are better than you are better at that than I am. Yes. Yes. Uh, and I try I try opening up this other door. Go ahead and roll me a coding. <laughs> coding check. Hey, that's a ten. Plus six. Oh <laughs> that's a twenty eight. That's a twenty eight. <laughs> easy enough you're able to the door slides open. And as it, as it slides open, you hear the inside. It's quiet. And Brodo, it's, can you stand in front of the door? And it's dark. Make sure. It is really dark. And it actually feels cold. Uh, what are they hiding in here? Well, it can't be that important if they just left us here. Like, uh, I don't have a flashlight. Uh, are you in? Did you go inside, or are you still standing at the doorway before entering? I'm still, I'm still standing at the doorway because I'd like, like you to roll me a we're... perception check. Oh, of course, it's trying to walk past us. That will be a twelve plus. That'll be a twenty-two. That is basically the best I can do. It is one point off from my maximum right now. (laughs) You are... You're standing there. And then as you're standing there, you turn towards Proto to tell him to to go guard the door. And as he he goes and turns, the door in front of you (laughs) slides closed. And then you see the panel (laughs) lock itself. God damn it. (laughs) And Proto looks back and is like, Pry it open. Pry it open. And you see him go over. He's like, shall I break through it? Uh, yes. <laughs> Dr. Cal isn't used to this. Stand back. And you see him uh, focus and then take his fist and it... And he goes and punches it. Ah, oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> I, I will repair this for free it, it, when you ask it, for it. It dents. He punches again, and it it breaks. It, it like it breaks open, and then he goes and grabs into it, and then pries it open. And as he pries it open, uh, you hear. <laughs> oh God! It has a horrible laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I get the gun. You you get the gun, and uh, you see it. It's it's cold in here, and the light kind of the light has like a like a, like a blue sconce light to it, and you see a bunch of probably about six different tubes inside here, and oh, I they're bad. I bad. they're all they're all different tubes and. You suddenly hear, like, 
You, you are interesting. Maybe I can fetch a good price for you too. <laughs> and then you hear, <laughs> and you see a bright light flash, and then nothing. Oh God! <laughs> it sounded nothing. It sounded oh, like a small creature. What is it? <laughs> the I, I like my Doctor Cal like goes through like small races he knows about. Uh, I think the only one that would, would be, be that small, but Arasian. I don't know. Arasian is the only one that comes yeah. to mind. Yeah, I was just double checking. Doctor Cal would know about them. Uh, and I, I look over. I I guess the lights out now, isn't it? Uh, the the light is still is still on. You see the these tubes. There are six of them, three on each side of you. Uh, the it is still cold in here. I don't want to mess up what they're they're doing in here. Are you in a race scene? Uh, Doctor Cal let, looks around. Is like I believe they are gone. God. At least I heard a transporting device of some kind. Well. Whoever they are, they had technology provided to them. Uh, I wonder who has a lot of technology and doesn't like Core Commander us. <laughs> No, oh, it wouldn't be Diamos. They would, they would have just killed me. Yes, but uh, perhaps now he knows of you. What about what's the name of that other Prime Empire? This. Oh, what's the name of that? Like it starts with an S. Not that one. You probably wouldn't know about that one. I wouldn't know about that one. You wouldn't know. I, about I that did. One. Um. I don't know a lot of other empires. The Red Eye Syndicate are not widely known about, are they? Uh, you also, you also probably wouldn't know about them. Okay, yeah. Um, Doctor Cal wouldn't know about a lot. Go ahead and roll a lore check. A go ahead and roll a lore check. Lore check. Lore check. Lore check. By, uh, uh, ooh, that is a 17. 17. You have heard one time about how Core Command is in some kind of, like, uh, oh, an inter, interpla- interplanetary war across all the command colonies. Something, something, about, command. something about an insurgency. Forgot they were in the middle of this half war. <sighs> well, I believe that we were dealing with some kind of mercenary, and if they entered inside here, they must have gotten whatever information they needed. But I am curious. These tubes here—they almost look like cryostasis. Maybe they're keeping prisoners here. I I can't tell. Why here? Why not one of their detention zones? Well, kind of look over at Proto. Like I don't know. Governments are weird. We both know that firsthand. Yes, but this is they a military. This is a military. Well, Proto, we already broke their toys. Let's not just look around here. I have to explain to someone what has happened. How are we going also, to explain to them what has happened if we don't have a codex? They wouldn't be in the the cryogenic tubes. I know, but. Perhaps we can learn more about what this creature took 
so that we know exactly who they took it to. Where, where do you expect to learn that information? Deduction skills, creator. Okay, let's look around. <laughs> and I, I guess this is going to be perception. Yep. Yep. Need to give myself a flashlight. <laughs> I say is I'm looking around. Um, that's going to be a nineteen. You begin to look around and uh, check in on these different systems. You see. Every single system on here has been wiped. There's no data. And the tubes, the stasis chambers, they're all empty. They do here. (laughs) Perhaps we should... I don't know tell someone there is a communication device over there inside the other chamber. Well, let's go tell someone. Alright. You go over to the other room. Are you going to try to call uh, someone? (laughs) Let's try calling Officer Micah, the only one I know. Yeah, I'll, I'll if this is, yeah, sure. Uh, and I'm going to try explaining the bad shit's going down. Okay. Um, as you go up to it, I need you to roll me a straight intellect check. Straight intellect? Yeah. To see if you remember me? Operative Micah's codex ID. You kidding me? <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, you don't mm-hmm. remember if there was a... You, you're trying to remember the, the code for it, and you can't remember. Proto looks at you as like, what is wrong, creator? I, I can't remember Micah's code. Do you remember it? Yes, I do. Tell me it. And he gives it to you as you, you plot it in. And it begins to call. I feel so bad. <laughs> I, I say. Oh, God. No response. Well, that's not good. Call again. You, you would call again, Pearl, though. I'm going to go and look around. And uh, I tried getting past the, like, door that we crammed open. Okay. Um, and I, I'm just looking there, and I'm like, what, did, what happened here? I, I'm trying to figure out how I can repair this <laughs> since we just <laughs> damaged their stuff. Uh, it is really <laughs> bent from Proto's grip, pulling it aside. As you're as you're inspecting this, you hear you hear again. <laughs> this time it was sooner that it, the call dropped. Frodo looks back at you. <sighs> he is not answering. I guess he's doing something. Um... Perhaps I shall call. Commander Carter. Do you remember his code? I do. Okay. Uh, and I walk back in the room. <laughs> okay. That's the only other option we have. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Who is this? Uh, this is uh, D- Dr. Cal. Dr. Cal. Bruno. What are you doing? Yes. You're not supposed to be someone inside bro- the inside the mission control cham- chamber. Someone broke in. 
oh, fuck. I think they and you hear, you hear, you hear. The, the call. Could we blame the doors? The call just. Could we blame just, the doors on the intruder? He just hung I up. Look over at Proto. <laughs> he just hung up, and Proto looks over. He's like, he sounded angry. Well, he can't be pissed at us. It wasn't our job to defend this place. <laughs> We're just here. Why do you think Commander Kurter answered? But not Operative Micah. Wouldn't you assume that Commander Kurter is more busy than Operative Micah? I don't know, Proto. Maybe there's some shit going on. Um. Should we go and help? Help what? I don't know. Maybe we should just leave. Right now, we don't. Well, you we might as well explain what happened before we leave. Why should we owe them an explanation if they are not responding to us? We are their prisoners at this point. Proto, before we leave, we might as well tell them what happened. That gives them some information. It's strange. I have this anger feeling inside of me, even though I am programmed to make sure that I work with Core Command. At least that is what... Venton wanted. Well, it's because your programming's probably evolving past what we meant it to. I don't like this feeling. It feels yep. like a form of cognitive dissonance. Well, Proto, there's only one place we can get out some of that anger. And I try walking into the laboratory. <laughs> Okay, you you go and you leave, and then you go over to the Brodo. laboratory. Brodo, there's a dummy in here that you can punch a few times. That should help. If I punch the dummy, the dummy will explode. Well, we blame it on the guy who it's who entered. Sounds fair. <laughs> And you see, he goes and takes a, a, a shot at the dummy, and he goes and punches it. Does it explode? It break. He he punches a hole straight through it. Did that help, Proto? Not really. Oh, that sucks. I thought that might help. Was there anything... Well, there is something you want to do. Is there anything you want to do to try getting some of that anger out? I want to fight something. I thought I was going to be able to fight something, but it was too quick, too quiet. I understand, Frodo. I don't like that. I want... No. To fight something. Well, you don't have a lot of things worth fighting around here. Perhaps you can make me a sin. Can you? I can probably, but we would need sin parts. At least the core. I don't know how to make those myself yet. Dang it. So we'd have to leave to to get that. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. And you see him worry, punch, punch the, the thing multiple times. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I want to leave. And he continues to punch it over and over again until the thing, the thing's head breaks off. And you see him grab the head and he pulls it off and he throws it at the wall. And he's like, I Ooh. am sick of this I want to leave and you see him go over to the door the door s- slides open and he leaves the laboratory I follow Proto you follow, where, where is he head? you follow Proto the end of, like the actual door he goes back into the chamber with the mission with the mission control stuff and he goes oh, over God. and he starts typing Commander Kircher's code again <laughs> and, and Proto uh, 
And he Prado. goes he goes to try to press onto the thing. What are you gonna do? <laughs> and Prado, we don't talk to people when we're angry. That's how we make mistakes. Uh go ahead and roll and influence check. Oh, let me guess. Influence, yeah. Uh, bartering time. <laughs> hey, you remember bartering? You remember bartering, Matt? This I I wouldn't <laughs> say this is bartering, no. This is not bartering. Oh, it's not bartering? I thought that was that that affects influence checks. Yes, it's yeah, so if, if you're if you're okay, let's bar- do a, if you're bartering, I think, right? Yeah. Oh, and then that was <laughs> Matt, you're gonna laugh. What? That was a zero. <laughs> <laughs> Because I rolled a three. You you say this, and he does not. He's not listening to you at all, and he presses onto the button, and then it goes. What what are you gonna do? Well, it's well, it's. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try hanging up. Okay, you go over there and you and you go and hang up. Uh, the call and it goes, and then Proto looks over at you. He's like. What are you doing, creator? Why did you stop me? I want to get out of here. I can try to convince him. Brodo? I try... I walk out of the room, and I try going to, like, the front door. Okay, you go over to the front door. As you go... Um, I open the front door. As you go up to the front door, the front door opens up, and you walk out into the the open area in the front and you see what looks like just straight up trees and forest around you. Come on, Proto. Proto looks down the hall, walks out, comes out to you. Let's wait here for a bit. He just stares at you. We're, are we outside or are we just in the open area? You are in an open area. It seems like you're outside. You're not sure if you're allowed to be out here. The door just opened for you. Uh, entire system seemed to be wiped, so who, who knows? So, like, Proto can just walk off right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like that. And Proto just looks at you and is like, Are you testing me, creator? If you want to go walk off, go do it. As long as you come back, I don't care. But I want you to be with me. Well, you seem to want to leave for a bit, and I need to stay here and talk with the commander. Are you sure? As long as you can come back, it's your choice. I'd like you to come back, but I can't ask anything else of you. He walks up to you. And then he kneels down to your level. Yep. And he gives you a hug. I pat him on the back, and I'm just like, as long as you don't go to TL Frameworks. <laughs> I, I don't just, know how far that is. I just is wanted, from here. I just wanted your approval. I have it, brother. I just don't know how to show it. Thank you, creator. And we're gonna end the session there. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> You're such a horrifying monstrosity. <laughs> Love you. That was the good. Closest Dr. Cal will ever get to saying I love him. That was, okay, just so you know, yes. there's, there's no more than that. That's the closest. That was good. Well, thank you all for listening to this uh, third entry of The Doctor. And we will see where it, it goes from here. Uh, as you now could- it's just time to talk with the commander and get my goddamn money for the thing I developed. <laughs> Yeah. And then we'll go off we, because Proto is having fucking cabin fever. We will see what happens. But uh, thank you all for listening. And if death comes to you, may you be reborn in power 
Credit, credits. I thank you for listening to The Doctor. Be sure to check out the official New Age campaign, now releasing here on the podcast and streaming bi-weekly Tuesdays on Twitch. A link will be found in the description of this entry. And if you want to be reborn yourself, you can subscribe as a Chosen to access Chosen Creation and exclusive Codex entries. Until next time, travelers. Be safe. Stay safe. And if death comes to you, may you be reborn in power.